Hi, Sam. Um, I'm just gonna ask you a few questions. So, how long have you been to Hajj? I've been in Sahaj for about a year and a half. And um, can you tell me some things that has changed in your life? Um, well, I was always very really quiet and reserved, and I would spend a lot of time just by myself. I wasn't a collective person, and that's changed a lot. I love being with the collective. I, I feel like I found people who I can enjoy being around that are that are honest, that are true people, that are beautiful people. So. Mm. And what does the Hajj mean to you? Um, it means it gives balance, and it gives like I found that it's it's changed a lot for me, and it me it means a lot. It means it's like how do I want to put it? It's like a type of it just to, to look after yourself, like showering and brushing your teeth. If you meditate, you look after yourself, you clean yourself. System. And it makes a huge difference in your life, and that, that means a lot. I think it means a lot to everybody, and that is something that needs to be more mainstream for everybody. Mm -hmm. Why do you think it has changed you so much? Because it's given, it's given me balance. It's given me... Like just, it's given me me is the best way I can put it. The, the real me. I'm, I'm discovering. I'm still discovering, and I'll continue probably for the rest of my life to just discover who I am. And that is a huge thing. That is a really good answer, Sam. What else do you want me to ask you? Just tell me anything, anything that you'd like to say about Sahaja Yoga and about yourself. Anything um, that comes to your mind. It's just, it's really just changed me and my perspective on the world as well. Like, it just, it, it went from just me, being me and my little, little nucleus to the whole world. And it's opened that up completely. That I see and I notice the whole world now. And just the way things are, and whether it's good or bad, it's just, I see it now. And I can understand it better on a different level, on a subtle level, instead of mentally trying to figure everything out and like why people are like this, why people do that. It's, I can understand subtly and I see even, you know, when I, I, I'm watching TV or I'm listening to somebody talk or something, I, I see their problems and their issues. Like I see, oh, they have, they would have a blockage, that means that, and that means that. And I can, it's, I don't know, it's a way of subtly analyzing things for me and I find that I like that because it helps explain things that are otherwise to me unexplainable. Like, why is this person a rude and nasty person? Like, I don't get it, but I can see, oh, that's a blockage. It's not really necessarily who they are. And it helps me to accept people as well that way. Because I can see that and I can understand that um, it's just a problem that they have. It's not the way they are or the way that they want to be. And would you like to say a few words about this Sahaj family that you have? You know, it's it's like family. It's like meeting a long lost sibling or something, a long lost brother or sister or uncle or aunt. And you just get along immediately. It's not even like normal family. There's like I never liked my normal family. My normal family was are not necessarily nice people. But coming into Sahaj, that's what family is. That's what family should be, is Sahaja Yoga family. And, and why is that? Because it's just, there's so much love. It's just, it's love and acceptance and compassion for each other and just joy of being together and just joy in general. Everyone is happy within themselves and they can fix themselves so they're not pushing their problems on everybody else. So everyone can just enjoy each other when they're together. It's amazing. Anything else? Why do you think is the Hajj Yoga special? Because it brings you you. It brings you who you are. It brings you back to your root, which is your spirit. And it helps you to clear yourself, to, to um, fix any problems that you obtain throughout your life, whether it's, you know, your past or expectations or anything. It helps you to clear that out and to really find who you are. And that is the most important thing about Sahaja, about life, about everything. That's why we're here, is to find ourselves and who we are. And that's what Sahaja helps you do.
it absolutely does it for you. And it's so easy, it's so gentle and sweet, it's not pushing or aggressive and you don't have to go to the, the mountains and you know starve yourself for six years or whatever to get this. It's so simple and easy and you know it's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Amazing! <laughs> Thank you. Can you do a namaste for me? Thanks, I love you. <laughs> that was pretty good.